I'm uh, John Van Lenten. I work for Granite Construction. I'm a project manager estimator. Um, my wife is Taji. We've been married for uh, 18 years. And uh, my son Eric is a junior and my, ja my daughter Jazzy is a uh, eighth grader. I, I like a lot of things that we do th with influencers, but my favorite one is the journey. I have had my life changed um, by God through influencers. I've seen other guys' lives changed, and so I'm willing to talk about it. A friend of mine from work uh, invited me when we first moved to Bakersfield and uh, asked me if I would be interested in going with him. I think he invited me because the same reason that I'm here. He had his life changed uh, through the journey. He's had seen other lives get changed. I was a friend of his, he cared about me, and he's, I think he thought, I want you to be a part of this too. I want you to benefit from this the same way that I did. I mean, I've grown up in, uh, in Christian circles my whole life, basically. And um, you know, I can honestly say that I've never been through anything like the journey. I've never experienced anything um, quite like the journey. It is not uh, a Bible study. It is not an accountability group. Um, what it is is a process of, of moving into an intimate, abiding relationship with, with God through His Son Jesus and through the power of the Holy Spirit. And you do it in the context of a group, which is really amazing to hear other people's stories and to encourage each other and to sharpen each other. So um, yeah, that, that's why it's different. The other thing I think that really makes it different is that there's life change. I've been through a lot of groups and studies and things in the past and um, a year or two later you might look back and say, am I really different because of what I did? What I went through, what I experienced, what I read, whatever the situation was. And uh, most of the time the answer was no. The, you know, there might be a few things that you picked up, but the journey is, is profoundly uh, changing. It changes um, a lot of things about you. I don't think there was a real turning point. There was no uh, singular, you know, bam moment where, where everything turned right side up. I think for me, it's, it's more uh, a cumulative thing. You know, there, there are certainly a lot of aha moments and those happen all the time. But uh, it's a cumulative growth, you know, as, as I learn, as my faith grows, as, as um, I interact with other people and grow in my faith. I think just in general, um, I'm finally beginning to live life the way God designed it to be lived. Just experiencing peace and joy, not getting um, sidetracked and, and not getting um, too wrapped up in the, in the little things of this world. Even though they may be important in the big scheme of things and scheme of eternity, uh, they're just not that important. And so kind of the freedom and peace that comes from that. It's indescribable, it's invaluable uh, to have that, that peace and uh, purpose in life. All right, so you talk about purpose, what, what's your purpose? If I had to boil it down, I would say my purpose is to, is to glorify God in everything that I do and to share Him with other people. I might have said that was my purpose for a long time, many years, but I'm I think I'm beginning to live more like that really is my purpose. I would just emphasize there's nothing like um, being close to Him. It is truly living life like He designed it to be lived. He created us to have relationship with Him. And that's why the world, there's so much emptiness and so much disillusionment and disappointment in this world because we're living without our Creator, without a relationship with the God who made us. And then the longer you go like that, um, the more danger of a, of a situation you're in. And so I, I think I've learned that lesson to where I don't want to put myself in that situation anymore. Um, I want to be able to hear His voice. And His voice sounds a lot like what's written in His Word. And so the more I read His Word, the more familiar I am with His voice. And that's the place I want to be.